Instead of like, <clears throat> there's a thousand tests performed every day here in our enrichment spheres. I can't personally oversee every one of them, so these pre recorded messages will cover any questions you might have and respond to any incidents that may occur in the course of your science adventure. Your test assignment will vary depending on the manner in which you have bent the world to your will. Those of you helping us test the repulsion gel today, just follow the blue line on the floor. Those of you who volunteered to be injected with praying mantis DNA, I've got some good news and some bad news. Bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news is we've got a much better test for you. Fighting an army of mantis men. Pick up a rifle and follow the yellow line. Oh, okay. You'll know when the test starts. Where's the yellow line at? Oh, no, no. No, but really, like... <clears throat> this is like the old aperture science, like in the 80s. And instead of like... Uh, controlled small tests, you know, that are designed to use portals. This is like exploring a whole entire world with your portals. And it's great, it really is. Okay, 1955, 47. I guess this part of it was in the 50s, but coming up, it'll be in the, uh, the 80s and such. Heads up, we're going to have a superconductor turned up full blast and pointed at you for the duration of this next test. I'll be honest, we're throwing science at the wall here to see what sticks. No idea what it'll do. Probably nothing. Best case scenario, you might get some superpowers. Worst case, some tumors, which we'll cut out. If you need to go to the bathroom after this next series of tests, please let a test associate know. Because in all likelihood, whatever comes out of you is going to be coal. Only temporary, so do not worry. If it persists for a week, though, start worrying and come see us because that's not supposed to happen. Oh, oh, oh. Experiment discontinued. If you've cut yourself at all in the course of these tests, you might have noticed that your blood is pure gasoline. That's normal. We've been shooting you with an invisible laser that's supposed to turn blood into gasoline. So all that means is it's working.
control. No, 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 no. How have you guys been? I've been pretty good. Just, uh, they say great just science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand-holding. So maybe they did have a portal device. I don't know, though. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. Hmm. Repulsion gel. This does look like something that was in the 50s. For sure. For sure. just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here. I can talk about the control group all damn day. That's right, sir. You can. And you will. Um... Control? This next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. Oh, God.
that don't look quite safe. 